Hi, everybody. Stop by. I have a new board. I'm doing a new project today. Welcome as you are joining. So I have the vintage laurel wreath. Now this transfer comes with a double wreath inside of it. So you can do a smaller board with this wreath. I'm gonna do the large one. Today I have the square Sylvie board. This is 18 by 18 on the inside measurement. It's one of our brand new boards. <clears throat> and I also have the Faith, Hope, and Love transfer that I'm going to do the middle of this wreath. So for starters, let's remove this, this um, backer sheet off of the transfer. I can get the edge of it here. Easier said than done. And I don't like to, there we go. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Very carefully. Okay. Oh my gosh. Worst thing that could ever happen. Okay, I'm going to be really super careful at trying to peel this back off of itself. Oh my gosh. Let me. Let me put it in the water and see if I can get it to come apart. I think I might have just ruined this. Oh my. Well, Beth is off camera unsticking a transfer from itself. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, worst thing ever. Because many transfers get ruined this way. This is a brand new transfer. Brand new, never used. And if it sticks to its own self, it can end up ripping and tearing the self screen and all other parts of it and then it will not be useful oh my gosh i don't even know why this is doing this it's sticking in all kinds of places so i have bad humidity in my apartment right now gosh listen oh seriously the worst thing ever Okay, all right, I think, I think I've salvaged. All right, I'm gonna lay this out and lay this out on it so that we can real quick dry it. And I am not sure, we're just gonna have to go for it and see if it is gonna work or not. Don't know where my other fuss cloth is, so we will use a lint free cloth. I'm just going to try to dry this real quick. All right, so my vintage laurel wreath may or may not be salvaged. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to squeeze the water out of it here. 
I, so I stuck it in the water because it stuck to itself. Stuck to itself while I was unfurling the backer sheet. So this is all like wrinkly, messed up. But how frustrating. Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm sure lots of couturiers, couturiers have had their transfers stick to itself and seriously cried some real tears that a brand new transfer got ruined that way. Okay, I don't know. So this is a huge experiment to see if it's going to work now. Because that other half of it was really super. All right, I'm going to put some more lint on it by putting this terry cloth side down on this transfer. Get a little bit of lint on it because it's brand new. And that was part of the problem with it to begin with. Is it was brand new, really super sticky, right off the backing sheet. Ooh, don't you even, don't you even. Okay. Okay, so it goes on the board. Now I'm all like, all kinds of sideways here. Let me try to get us back straight here. And my board is crooked. All right, maybe it was straight and I just made it crooked. Okay, so. I'm back with an unstuck transfer. Like I said, this is the, the vintage laurel wreath. It is one of our size D transfers. So they're like 18 inch by 18 inch. Some of them you cut apart. Some of them you use exactly the way they come. And that's what this Sylvie board was made for. So there are some really adorable holiday size D transfers. And some of them are like prints and patterns that you can do some layering things to. So right now I am sticking down the wreath to the sticky side so that it will adhere to my chalkboard in an attempt to, because our transfers are pressure sensitive, I'm getting this transfer nice and stick down. That way, this gray area that you're seeing is where the silk screen is. And that way I have good, secure um, contact with the board that I'm using. And that will ensure that the chalk paste, when I squeegee it on, will go through the screen and onto this chalkboard. Okay, so in best case scenario, that's what's what, that what, is what will happen. All right, so I've picked out some mauve chalk paste, and I'm gonna go through and get these little berry areas. Got berries all along this laurel swag. So I am just going to hit those with my little squeegee. I want to get some of this excess off. And then I'm going to go about halfway around, making sure to get all of them on this side anyway. That's going to give a little pop of color, and then we're going to use this laurel color. All right, so this is how I do it. So I got that partial. All right, so now what I'll do, there's my one cloth at. All right, so I'm going to set this down because I'm going to fold over this part that I just chopped. I know I haven't done the leaves yet, but 
we're going to dry these berries. I'm just going to lay that like that. We're going to dry this with the hair dryer real quick. Then we'll put it down and work on the leaves. So a little bit of noise here. I'm going to dry my chalk paste. As soon as the chalk paste dries, I mean it can dry in the air in like under five minutes. And then it is smudge free, streak free, smear free until I decide to change what's on this board and I can spritz it with water, which will reactivate this dried on chalk paste. And I can wipe it off with a paper towel and water and then choose to do something else. Like if I get bored with my wreath and I want to do a different color or a different transfer then I can just this is one of our reusable boards that you can wash off and do another thing which is great because I'm somebody that literally paints the walls in my house every six months because I get bored of a color and I want something different so all right so now we've got those berries on there let's get these this foliage this laurel and I've picked out a eucalyptus color for this it's a pretty kind of like a minty green pretty color actually I think I'm gonna use one of my mini squeegees I think that's the perfect size all right so starting at the top Okay, so if you think you're starting off too much chalk paste, you can just smooth that back out. Transfer it. A little tricky here. I got a little bit too wide still of a squeegee, but it's doing the trick by bits and pieces here. So with chalk paste, you want to be able to work kind of quickly. That's why I kind of divide this up and dry it in sections and then do by colors um, because it dries rather quickly and if you are just starting out you might go a little bit slower than you think you are because you're unsure so now I'm just smoothing this out and then you get a little bit faster the more times you chalk all right so that looks good Let me put that down let's go ahead and peel that and dry that section Gorgeous. All right. Let me set this back there. Okay, so you can see that foliage looks lovely. Okay. I'm going to dry this chalk paste now. I'm just using the low temperature on my hair dryer, and it's not a craft dryer, it's just a regular old hair dryer. Now, the idea is to not get your vinyl transfer put any heat on that because vinyl will warp with heat and melt and be misshapen so I'm trying to stay as far away from that as I can and if you're unsure you can always use the cool setting on your dryer welcome Bobby I'm glad you can make it so we are using the Sylvie board it's our square board and it's like an 18 by 18 measurement on the inside of it and I've used marvelous paste for this berries and um, eucalyptus for the laurel all right now we're gonna go ahead 
We're just going to loosely lay that down. I just want to secure this bow down here. So I'll probably do that last. And I'm going to flip this over. Hi, Amy. Welcome, welcome. My other sister. My eldest sister. All right, so I'm going to use this color again. And I'm going to do all the berry areas. Real quick, go through and add the mauve where these are. And very colorful little addition to this wreath. I do need a blue bracelet. You're right. That's funny. I have a pearl one, but I don't think it goes with this outfit. Amy, my sister Amy, is a um, paparazzi jewelry consultant. All of us girls in the Kelpig family are some kind of a product representative and Amy is her her site is paparazzi jewelry wait paparazzi princess right Amy anyway I bet I buy way too much of her jewelry because it's only five dollars for anything uh, you know the necklaces and earring sets are my favorite because five dollars and you get the earrings and the necklace so being a school teacher on a fixed income, on a budget, that jewelry is the best jewelry for me. There's my little shout out for you, Amy. Okay, so I think I think this looks good. I'm just kind of scratching off where it went outside the line of that. Okay, so we're gonna put this back down to do the leaf work. Thanks, Aim. Yep. All right. And she she is also from Bellevue, Ohio, originally. And she does ship her jewelry, right, Aim? I think I'm saying everything right. All right. She does ship her jewelry for the low, low price of I think it's four dollars for like a priority mailbox. Little the little boxes that hold the VHS cassettes. Those are great to ship a lot of jewelry in. But anyway, Amy's joining me for my live tonight. How awesome is that? Okay, cool. Well, Amy, so this is going to be the new thing on my wall once I get it completely done. All right, so we're going to switch to the other color, which was the eucalyptus, to do our leaves. I'm picking a little bit smaller squeegee this time because I felt like that mini squeegee was just a little bit big. So this is one of my cut up mini squeegees for when you need that little area to get into. I think this will add a beautiful pop of color for my hallway where I'm going to hang it just the thing it needs. So if you're squeegeeing along on your transfer and you are worried that you're taking too long, sometimes just adding a little bit thicker of a layer and then smoothing it out and getting the excess off when you're close to being done and ready to peel, sometimes that trick will work too. But I like the chalk a section peel it, dry it, and then chop the next section too. I think that works nice. Those are my most used tips from the Chalk Couture pros that have taught me how to chop. It's funny, you can watch other 
chalkers and everybody's got their own way of doing things. And you can learn something from everybody, from each person. All right, so I'm going to get this little teeny tiny little part of the laurel that sticks through this bow. Because that's going to help add dimension. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and peel that back and dry it before we get too far. That is gorgeous. So you missed the beginning of the video where I had my transfer all brand new, peeling it off the backer sheet, and it started to stick terribly. Yes, lots of Bellevue people. You're sick. Oh, man. Bummer. So, there's a lot of kids at my school sick right now, too. Just a lot of sniffle, sniffles. I think it's mostly allergies, but there are some kids that are sick with worse stuff. And we just took precautions at our school to protect our kids against the EEE -E -E virus that's going around. You know, the, um, what's it called? The Eastern Equest, wait, Equestrian um, Encephalitis that the mosquitoes are um, passing. And so we're having like all of our kids' sports activities and stuff happen earlier their practices and their games and stuff to protect them and keep them out, out of the, um, out in the air when mosquitoes are at their worst, which is like, I don't know if it's like 7 PM and beyond when the mosquitoes are worst. So we just did a announcement and a robo call to protect our kids. That apparently is getting bad everywhere. Hi, Sarah. Both my sisters. How lucky am I to have you both on here? My gosh, Sarah, I just had like my transfer stick to itself and I had like a mini heart attack in the beginning of this video, just peeling it off of its back sheet. And I had to put it in water to try to get it unfurled. It scared me to death. All right, so I'm going to use this iced coffee. I'm going to do like a little bit of a cool trick here. So I have to make sure this is stuffed down good because I'm doing this bow area. All right, so this is our iced coffee. And... Okay, Amy, make your call and then pop back on. All right, so this one's called Iced Coffee, and I really love it. It's a really pretty color, and I think it goes great with this eucalyptus. So I'm going to do the whole bow with this color, and then comes the surprise thing that I'm going to do. All right trying to go quickly because all of a sudden the chalk case seems to want to dry really quickly over here. So let me smooth this out, make sure I have all my lines in here. I think I do. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to put this cloth down again. This is my little cloth. And I'm going to peel this up and dry this bow area. And then I'm going to show you something really cool. What's in the canter? What's in the, hmm? 
what's in the hmm what are you asking i'm not sure what you're asking bobby Tell me what you're saying. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to put this back down in the center. Well, I haven't showed you that yet, but I'm going to. All right, so now I've got the iced coffee here. Now just slide this up so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to take the glitter gold, this or shimmer gold. Okay, take a little bit of that. Little dabble do ya. And we're going to go over that bow that had the iced coffee as a second layer. I think it's really going to be pretty. Okay, now I'm just smooth that out. The glitter, shimmer glitter paste takes a little bit longer to dry than the regular paste. So you're usually able to kind of take a little bit longer doing it. Okay, now I'm ready to remove this part. Okay, well, not sure. I think I lost my chalk paste. I think I lost my iced coffee. And this transfer sticking to itself again. Okay, more. Okay, off camera, performing surgery on the transfer again. I don't know why this is doing this today. I think the humidity is bad here, and it's just like static electricity. In here, like I never have this much trouble with the transfer sticking. I don't know why today would be any different other than I don't know. Okay, well, almost gotta be very careful peeling this, and then it wants to peel in another area. Gosh. What's in my hair? Okay. That's that. Okay, let's dry this. And then I'm going to get my paintbrush out. Try to touch this up real quick. Go on, poo poo. Poo 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 poo. Going lopsided and all crazy. Okay, so some okay, so it is really difficult to do layers of chalk paste. So this did not cooperate as well as I thought. So I'm going to touch this up, and then we're going to go. We're going to move on with what's going to be in the center. Oh my gosh, it, your package came, but it went to the neighbors. Well, hopefully you have nice neighbors <laughs> that brought you your package. <laughs> I've had that happen before too. Um, we get our neighbors mail, it seems like all the time. And we just have to take that back. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this iced coffee and touch up my bow here that kind of peeled. Gonna... Touch that up and then when that dries, we'll touch up the gold over it. Sometimes, like I said, the humidity plays a big part in 
how well chalk paste will behave. And my apartment is an upstairs, like second floor. It just can really cause havoc out of nowhere just because it wants to. Most just want to touch up a couple spots, get a good layer before I get the gold. Before I get the gold, I sound like I'm an Olympic getting the gold, you know. I would be happy with the bronze. That would be amazing. Okay, I think these are all my parts here. Okay, let's let that part dry, and then we'll get the gold and touch up that part too. All right, going to let that go. Okay, so I took the Faith, Hope, and Love Trio and got this a little bit wet I can't wait till you chalk Bobby this is gonna be so cool yes a big K okay so <laughs> they did awesome all right so I have seen people with this transfer do their last name letter in the center with the big monogram. I do not have the monograms over at my apartment today because I really wanted to do the faith word in the center. I have, let's see, I have blessed. I have um, lots of letters with the M and home. I have a sign behind me on the wall that is currently upside down because my husband, who doesn't see very well, hung that. Oh, that cracks me up, honey. That <laughs> only someone with really bad eyesight like you would have done that. I know. I'm just going to leave it like that and see how many people notice. <laughs> I have fun picking on him. Okay, I'm just trying to center this a little bit. Make sure I'm good. Gosh, we need a we need a trip. We need a trip back to Ohio, Bobby, to visit our son Matthew. We haven't we haven't gone in probably six months or longer. It would be really nice to have a visit. Okay, so I feel like my board and my camera and everything are crooked and it's throwing off whether or not I'm I've got a straight word here. Is it straight? You guys tell me. I feel like it is, but. Uh oh, did I freeze up? Oh boy. What's happening? I think I did. All right. Well, I'm going to keep going. Just, yeah, no, on my side, totally froze. I'm totally frozen. Sorry, guys. Hopefully, I will unfreeze. All right. So, we have, there we go. Okay. I totally froze up. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that would be great, Bobby. I will let you know. See here. Okay. I think it looks straight. Do you think the word is straight? I think it's straight enough. Okay. We're going to do the iced coffee. I was going to try this trick again, but let me do a different step in between 
to show you a technique that you can do. If you're going to layer your chalk, this is one technique that you could do that I learned about. Okay. Just going to smooth this out. That looks good. All right. And then peel to reveal. All right, now let me show you. I'm going to set that to the side. Dry this real quick. So sometimes they will tell you, they being chalk experts to wax in between layers of chalk. I'm going to show you what that looks like after I get this nice and dry. Dry this a little bit too. How to fix my little damaged bow down here. We have a product called Chalkology Paste Wax. Now, it's in like a chapstick-looking container, although mine is in little bits now. You don't have to necessarily use this kind of wax. You can get Minwax um, paste from like a hardware store or another brand of furniture paste and what you do is you get like a little section little section of your cloth get a little bit of that wax on it oh gosh this is more brittle than I thought it was is that my only piece let me warm it up in my finger a minute. so I'm making crumbs instead of getting it on there okay so take these crumbs so you just go over with chalk paste your chalk paste with this wax which should be you know kind of like the consistency of lip balm I think it's and you just go over it I don't know if that did anything or not but that's one of the things you can do before you do the next layer. Let me get the rest of that off of there. Okay. Loudness there. All right, so now we're going to take that transfer, line it back up. Okay, now we're going to take the gold, except for this time, we're going to do it a little bit, a little bit quicker than we did last time. I think I took too much time thinking shimmer gold. I can take my time. This time I'm going to go a little bit quicker with it. So now you don't want to get, you don't want the, because the chalk paste reactivates with water. Putting on that second layer of chalk paste, you kind of want to be a little bit quicker with it because you don't want it to set there long enough to reactivate the chalk paste under it and give it a chance to stick to the adhesive backing, which is what I think happened with my bow. So I'm going to do this really quick and peel off quickly this time. Okay. Perfect, it worked. Okay, awesome, awesome, much better. All right, so that has a really good coating of both. Now I'm going to go back to my bow down here and touch up the gold. Not completely cover it, but just catch those edges that I touched up that peeled off when I tried before. Give it a little bit of oomph to it. A little bit of oomph. Yep. 
yeah, sometimes weather just does that. It just does. Even though I have my air on, still warmer up here than what we'd like. Because it was in the 80s here today anyway. So it starts to heat up about this time of day. That looks good there. I think, I think, I think this is good. Okay. Okay. Paintbrush. All right, let's dry this good and we will see this end result. I'll hold it up so that you can see it nice. So, I think that turned out really nice. It's going to make a nice addition to our fall. Very, very pretty. Now, there's so many different ways you can do this. Like I said before, you can do different words. Now, this was a different transfer that I got the word faith from. This laurel wreath came in the big version, um, and then it came with this little mini one. So you could do bunches of gifts for the holidays, for your friends and loved ones um, with this wreath. And really, you know, I use the eucalyptus on it, but you can make it look more Christmassy with a darker green and maybe red berries in it. Um, you could do different colored bows. You could do their first, like a monogram of their last name, and that would look pretty too. Very fun board. So this is our Sylvie, and it's our square 18 by 18 board. I thought that turned out really nicely. So love on this post and share as much as you'd like to to let your friends know what, what Chalked Couture is all about. Tell them all about it. And if you are not on Facebook or your friends are not on Facebook or family, let them know that they can go to Best Classy Chalking on, on YouTube and watch my videos from there. Um, if you would like to be a VIP customer of mine, just comment, add me. If you'd like to try the transfer of the month club, um, comment club, and I will send you the link so you can check it out. And if you're interested in doing this for a living, um, by all means, comment join, and I will send you the link so you can check that out as well. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great night. And... Tomorrow is up in the air still, whether or not I'll, I'll go live, because I do have a Halloween mug party, and if I get any tonight or tomorrow um, paid tickets, then I will be doing that at 7 p.m. So it was fun talking with everybody. Nice to talk to you again, Bobby, and you guys all have a great night. If you're watching this on the replay, Give me a hashtag replay in the comments. Thank you so much. Bye now.